Kenobi movie edits aren't new, but this fan edit takes it to Whoa. a... Whoa. Hang on, let's go. Let me... I want another look at that. Wow. So this was the original that came out. And this is what they've done to... The, uh, a guy's re-edited it to this? First and foremost, I don't even know how you would even be able to, to do that. That is insane, but... Wow, look how much... That looks so cool. The detail in his face is unreal. Oh my god. Takes it to a whole new level. What you are seeing are comparisons of original shots from the series to newly edited shots added in by the editor himself. Yeah, like exactly, like, as you said. If there's people out there that can take something and make something <clears throat> look this incredible, I mean, this unbelievable, why on earth do, do they not work for Disney? Why why is they getting the substandard stuff and pushing it out? Because it, look, they, they, it looks amazing. The, the, the difference is like jaw-dropping. This isn't just cutting down footage into a two-hour film. I would this love to see the remake. This edit new shots, VFX changes, lighting edits, alterations to fit canon. Look, just look at, look at that. So this is the uh, Pixel Joker ninety-five, and that's the original. The, the, if if we had got that, the Pixel ninety-five. Sorry, the Pixel Joker 95. If we had got his work instead of what we had been given, do you not think people would have been way more happy and way more blown away by it? You know? It's like someone actually, for the other one, someone put actual proper consideration into it and actual time into it. Whereas the other one just seems like a half ass attempt. You prefer the remake, the fan made one. Yeah. Well, who, who wouldn't? Correctly, re I mean, look, it it looks it it looks better. It looks more it, it looks more real. I mean, there's a, a, a ship there and shoots and so much more. The VFX here just looks studio level quality. Yeah, so they do. how is this do. even possible? Well, the person working on it, Pixel Joker 95, has reportedly worked on official Star Wars shows in the past. So, so if he's worked on official Star Wars shows in the past, why was he not working on, on them now or doing this? Because, yeah, okay, so he might have been doing another project, but would you not wait or wait to get him? To, to do this, to knowing what he can do, would you not have him in charge? I mean, I'm not being funny. He's clearly vastly better than any, whoever's been doing it to date. So if it was me and I was in charge of production and the director, I'd be like, look, we need to make this guy the head of uh, CGI and give him all the direct, give him control and direction of all these things and just let him do it. Because unless there's someone better than him, but, you know, so far I've not seen someone. You'd wait for him as well. Yeah, I'd wait for him. I mean, this was the, um, I, I think this was the Obi-Wan, uh, the Obi, Obi Kenobi TV show that I did. It was their last big chance to win people back and they fluffed it. They absolutely destroyed it. It, it was terrible. You know, so why wouldn't you wait for him to come back? Why? Oh, so, so annoying as he was a VFX artist for Andor Season 1, so he's already a professional in the industry. Look and that. here are a few of the biggest changes seen. First is the Fortress Inquisitoris. Oh, come on. Look at, look at that. How much better is that than this one? So the original... Let's go on. It's just very green, a very dull fortress with a dull background or grey cloud. Very clearly, when they did that, they had a small budget, or they were given a limited budget, and more importantly, they were given very limited amount of time. They were not given a huge amount of time to put this together, the studio that did it. Obviously, Pixel Joker 95, he's doing it in his spare time, and he's got a lot more time to do things, yeah, so he can put more into it, obviously. But 
why wouldn't you get, allow them the time to do it? I mean, look at Prison look at what he did. Look at that. You've got this huge planet there. You've got another planet like moon there that's glowing, which looks cool and evil. It that one shot just conveys sinister, uh, sinister aspects of the Sith, and the, the, that just looks better. It just looks better in every way. It's got character to it. It looks more real. It's got some lighting around there. You can see through it. It looks like a. Re it looks more real than the other one. And it shows it much more like its Jedi Fallen Order counterpart. Oh. Next is the Grand Inquisitor looking more like his rebel counterpart, and the final fight between Obi Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader having more destruction going on in the background, almost giving. A oh the, yeah, the, the the fight between Obi Wan and Darth Vader. It was so trash. It, it just, oh, it was so bad. It's such a waste. All that time going through the through the TV show just to get to that one thing we'd all been waiting for and then it's to be such a huge letdown. You were disappointed. Yeah, I, I was disappointed. I was a bit ticked off. All that waiting for nothing and then just this mediocre, lacklustre fight at the end. What, yeah, so... Yeah, so that was the last time you watched a, a Disney TV show. You've not watched anything since then. Right, so you watched Ahsoka, you watched Obi-Wan, you watched The Mandalorians as well. And after Obi-Wan, you stopped watching it. Right, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, the, it wasn't, for me, it wasn't going to be the last chance that I was going to give them. It was the first chance I was give, give, going to give them to win me back, if that made sense. So. Blue version vibe of the Mustafa. Oh, look how much cooler that was. Oh, Pixel joke. Look at did you, that little... I, I wish we got a bit more... To, look at that. Look, there's character. There's ambiance. It looks cool, man. Rather than just a plain dull background. That looks way cooler. Of the Mustafar battle, Pixel Joker 95 also gave us a behind the scenes look of the additional reshoots, with him mentioning that he'll be utilizing deepfakes, just like Disney, to ensure Kenobi looks like Kenobi. It's estimated the- God, so Pixel Joker, he's, he's putting a lot, I mean, he's putting a lot of effort into this, what he's doing. And he's clearly doing a vastly better job than, uh, <laughs> than Disney are doing. But Disney's just trying to churn out stuff as fast as it can. It, it doesn't slow down, it doesn't wait, it doesn't give it time to mature. No, I've not seen the um, the latest TV series. Um, the Acolyte, no, I've not seen it. Yeah. You, you weren't a fan? No, fair enough. I know there's, I've seen some reviews where it's um, all for one, all for two, all for, uh, all for one for... Powerful one, powerful two, but some some weird chant they were doing, um, and uh, you know, yeah, I've seen I've seen the reviews on it, and uh, I saw some Angry Joe reviews on it, which, to be honest, didn't seem to be particularly great. Um, he seemed quite let down by the whole thing. I'm I'm not I'm not bothered. But I, I, the acolyte did not interest me at all. It just didn't. Just like the Captain Marvel movie, I have no interest in that whatsoever. Like I so, said, if you enjoyed it, fair enough. You didn't enjoy it. <laughs> okay, so you did enjoy it. Right, so a few of you didn't enjoy it. It was trash. It was crap. A waste of time. Right, okay. Um, I'm sure there'll be some people out there who haven't seen the latest ratings. No, I've, I've not seen. Ah, right, okay, so... Uh, CP3O, uh, he's, he's put out that it's not even made the top 10. Right, okay, so it's it's not had a lot of people watch it then. Fair enough. I mean, from what I've, what I've seen of it, that sounds about right. So, yeah. The fan edit will be released for Star Wars Celebration That's on cool. May 4th. How would you love that as a screensaver? Just that ship spinning around as a screensaver on your computer. But it's not confirmed. 
but after 8 to 12 months in oh, the making, so nice. only time will tell. If you're interested in watching the full trailer of the fan edit, it will be appearing on the end screen now. Kenobi movie edits. Okay, um... Let's watch oh, this. New. Kenobi movie edit. This fan edit training. takes it to a whole new oh, level. Just what you want to be appearing... Right, let's watch this, uh... Let's watch this. I want to see this. Fan trailers, fan work... I'm amazed it's not being taken down. Seriously, I'm amazed it's not being taken down. I know how Disney are. Nice. That gets me kind of excited, that intro. Look at the ship. Look how cool. That is so good. That is so good. You've made mistakes. We all did. Nice. And so has he done that then? It's the past. Move on. Be done with it. Please. Old friend. Should One I be broken in half? No, it's before that, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Oh, that is so cool. Man. That looked cool. I remember when the trailers came out for uh, the Obi Wan uh, or Kenobi. I remember when the trailers came out. It none of them really got me excited. None of them got me like, "Oh, that looks great." I just knew it was Kenobi and Darth Vader was going to be in it, and they were going to fight. And that's all I kind of knew. And that was enough to get me to watch every episode. <clears throat> If I had seen this trailer, or more like that trailer, I'd have also been excited to watch it, if that makes sense. Yeah, he did a great job of it. He's done an amazing job. And it's, it's, it's frustrating that Disney doesn't do a good, as good a job as that. You're surprised it hasn't been taken down either. Yeah. Well, no, I, I'll have to I admit, I'm surprised it's not been taken down. I thought they would have taken that down in a hurry. It embarrasses them. It makes Disney look incompetent. You know, it makes them look like they're not even trying. So, yeah, no, I totally agree with you. They uh, Disney should up the game and make more of an effort. Yeah, I completely agree. Y you you were really disappointed with it, yeah? No, I, I'll be honest. Yeah, I was I was really disappointed in it. I felt like I just wasted my. By the end of it, I felt like I wasted my time. You did as well, yeah. Yeah, well, there you are. Um, Disney needs to really, really try and do a lot harder work when uh, they bring new things out in the future. So, yeah.